Welcome to Erin Innovation's short video on Horizon Europe policy and pillars. Today we're going to look at some important background information about the structural organisation of the Horizon Europe funding programme, in particular the policy context and budget, as well as the pillars and clusters, topics and missions. The European Commission has six political priority areas for the five-year period of 2019 to 2024 which shape the working programme and framework of the EC. A European Green Deal, a Europe fit for the digital age, an economy that works for people, a stronger Europe in the world, promoting our European way of life, and a new push for European democracy. These priorities are put into action through the multi-annual financial framework, the MFF, shown here in blue. A budget of 1.2 trillion was agreed by the European Parliament in 2019. However, in 2021, post-COVID, further funds known as Next Generation EU, seen here in orange, were added. This is a temporary instrument designed to boost the post-pandemic recovery and at approximately 807 billion euro, it's the largest stimulus package ever financed in Europe, delivered through both grants and loans. So altogether, a total of 2.018 trillion will help rebuild a post-COVID-19 Europe towards a greener, more digital and more resilient Europe. This new long-term budget also aims to increase flexibility mechanisms to guarantee it has the capacity to address unforeseen needs. The multi-annual financial framework, MFF, is the European Union's seven-year budget and details the maximum amount of spending in the EU budget across seven broad policy areas. Looking at the pie chart, we can see that Cohesion, Resilience and Values gets the largest budget of approximately 1.2 trillion, followed by Natural Resources and Environment, with a budget of approximately 420 billion, and then Single Market, Innovation and Digital, with a budget of 161 billion. These broad funding areas then get distributed into 40 different funding programmes. So from the Cohesion, Resilience and Values budget, we can see three major funding programmes grouped under the Cohesion Policy, the European Regional Development Fund, the European Social Fund and the Cohesion Fund. The majority of the natural resources and environment budget is allocated under the Common Agricultural Policy within two instruments, the European Agricultural Guarantee Fund and the European Agricultural Fund for Rural Development. But today we're interested in the funding programmes grouped under the New and Reinforced Priorities. It is here that we will find the Horizon Europe funding programme with the largest individual budget of 86.1 billion, demonstrating its role as a key strategic priority with the EC. You can see here other funding programmes which might also be familiar to you, such as Erasmus, EU for Health and Life. Each funding programme has different types of conditions associated with financing and different levels of competition. There may in fact be multiple sources of funding available for your project idea. So we strongly recommend that you scan far and scan wide when searching for funding possibilities, considering strategically which funding program offers you the best opportunities. In a proposal Erin was recently involved in, Horizon Europe, Life and the Just Transition Mechanism were all considered as potential options. In the end, Life was the program it was successfully funded by. We'll turn now to take a closer look at the structure of Horizon Europe. Horizon Europe is the EC's ninth Research and Innovation Framework Funding Programme, which will run from 2021 until 2027, with a budget of 95.5 billion euro based on EC materials. Its aims are to strengthen the EU's scientific and technological bases and the European research areas, to deliver on citizens' priorities and sustain our socio-economic model and values, as well as to boost Europe's innovation capacity, competitiveness and jobs. Horizon Europe is hugely ambitious and differs from previous frameworks in that it now places impact at the core, rather than action alone. 
Horizon Europe is organized into pillars. Pillar 1, Excellent Science, aims to increase the EU's global scientific competitiveness. Pillar 2, Global Challenges and European Industrial Competitiveness, supports research related to societal challenges, reinforcing technological and industrial capacities through clusters, and promoting interdisciplinary, cross sectoral, cross policy, and international cooperation. And Pillar 3, Innovative Europe, aims to accelerate breakthrough and market creating innovation, strengthening European industry's position within the global marketplace. Across all of these pillars, we also have the horizontal pillar, widening participation and strengthening the European research area, which focuses on developing cohesion across Europe within the research community, aligning their research principles, values, policies and programmes and improving the uneven distribution of R&I performance across member states. If we look at how the Horizon Europe budget is split, you can see that the majority of the budget is allocated to Pillar 2. Within each pillar, we can see how the budget further breaks down, reflecting the Commission's political priorities. Here you can see that the two clusters with the most funding under Pillar 2 are Digital Industry and Space and Climate, Energy and Mobility illustrating the EC's ambition to deliver the green and digital transformations. Let's take a closer look at the pillars. Pillar 1, Excellent Science, consists of bottom-up actions, i.e. researchers themselves identify the topics and directions of their projects. The ERC provides funding to groundbreaking, high-gain and high-risk research, frontier research by the best researchers and their teams. The criterion here is scientific excellence. Marie Curie actions develop a highly skilled research-based workforce who are able to detect and tackle future challenges, work across disciplines and communicate scientific evidence to policymakers and the public. Research Infrastructures focuses on development of state-of-the-art services and tools used across all pillars activities, such as the European Open Science Cloud and European Data Infrastructure and you can see that the majority of the budget here is allocated to the European Research Council, or ERC. Pillar 3 also has a bottom-up approach, with no predefined topics. European Innovation Council, EIC, supports SMEs and startups with high potential impact innovations that are deemed too risky for open market investment alone, in particular, deep tech and game-changing innovations. European Innovation Ecosystems aims to create more connected and efficient innovation ecosystems to support the scaling of companies, encourage innovation and stimulate cooperation among national, regional and local actors. The European Institute of Innovation and Technology, EIT, brings key actors, research, education and business together around a common goal for nurturing innovation and aims to accelerate the impacts of Pillar 2 actions through its Knowledge and Innovation Communities, or KICS, strengthening multi-actor and industrial alliances and developing innovation ecosystems. It also will provide exploitation services to boost technology transfer and accelerate commercialization of results. The majority of the funding in Pillar 3 is dedicated to the European Innovation Council. The horizontal pillar, widening participation and strengthening the European research area, aims to enhance further collaboration across borders, disciplines and actors. It has two components. Number one, widening participation and spreading excellence. This will fund actions to reduce the geographical disparities between member state or and I performance, strengthen collaborative links across Europe and open up EU or and I networks such as teaming and twinning activities, ERA chairs, NCP networks, and number two, reforming and enhancing the European research and innovation system. This is about developing synergies across the ERA, across a range of topics, policy and national programme level collaboration, open science, including citizen science, European Code of Conduct for Research Integrity and Ethics, Gender Equality and Inclusiveness
If we take a closer look at Pillar 2, we can see the six clusters and non-nuclear direct actions of the Joint Research Centre, JRC, which aim to boost key technologies and solutions underpinning EU policies and the Sustainable Development Goals, or SDGs. This pillar has the greatest amount of funding associated with it within the Horizon Europe programme, 53 billion euro. These clusters have been determined by the Commission's overarching policies and priorities, as explained earlier. Proposals submitted will need to refer to these policies and demonstrate how they directly respond to them. Here you can see each cluster in detail. Within each cluster there are a number of destinations. For example, under cluster 1, Health, you can see the destinations Staying Healthy and Tackling Diseases and Reducing Disease Burdens. This overview is available to download as a PDF, so you can read it in more detail at your own pace. Now let's take a closer look at cluster 6, titled Food, Bioeconomy, Natural Resources, Agriculture and Environment. There are seven destinations here, under which the calls will be nestled. Let's take Destination 1, Biodiversity and Ecosystem Services, as an example. Here you can see the topics associated with this destination. This means that the EC will invite proposals for projects related to Understanding Biodiversity Decline Valuing and Restoring Biodiversity and Ecosystem Services and so on. Lastly, we'll take a quick look at the new missions. This new addition to the R&I Framework Programme sets high ambitions to deliver concrete solutions for society by 2030 to some of our greatest challenges. Adaption to climate change, protecting oceans and waters, healthy soils, cancer and climate neutral and smart cities. Again, we return to the themes of collaboration as the missions represent a coordinated effort by the Commission with new forms of governance and collaboration to pool the necessary resources in terms of funding programmes, policies and regulations. The aim is to mobilise and activate public and private actors across disciplines and from all sectors of society, academics, industry, politicians, entrepreneurs, investors, land and sea managers and citizens to create real and lasting impact and boost societal uptake of new solutions and approaches. The Horizon Europe Strategy Plan document is a very useful document for understanding Horizon Europe fully. It sets the scene for the research and innovation activities and outputs to be defined in the work programmes under Pillar 2 for 2021 to 2024. Here you will find the key strategic orientations and the expected impacts for all six clusters, along with cross-cluster complementarities, intervention areas and relevant European partnership info. Improve your chances of Horizon Europe success. Register for Erin's Horizon Europe Masterclass Series today. Contact training at erin.eu.